I'm going to talk to you about a little-known suburb in the Cleveland area that, in my opinion, is producing returns to investors like you much better than a lot of the well-known neighborhoods, right? This one's not in the national spotlight. It's a little under the radar, and I think investors like you can gobble up that cash flow. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. This is the show where we work mono a mono, okay? Today, I'm working with a man named Way, and he is from Queens, New York. And brother, you come to the Cleveland market because we got the cash flow. We got the cash flow here that you can't get there. We got the budget properties here that you can't get there. And I, of course, am your boy when it comes to investing in Cleveland real estate, okay? Over $200 million of Cleveland area investment properties sold by me. $200 million. That's at like 80K a door on average, folks. So if you're at home... Bust out the calculator, do the numbers. I've sold a lot of this stuff. I know what I'm talking about. Run the largest scattered site portfolio of its kind, okay? Subscribe to Holden Wise TV if you've never heard of me. Now, this video is for you, way. Eh? Everybody else watching this right now, I need you to understand something. I gave this to Way months ago privately. If you want to work with me one-on-one -on -one like he did to actually bid on these properties in real time, send my team an email, sales at HoldenWise.com. Include your phone number. We get you got you guys you guys send us emails and you're like, hey, call me! And there's no fucking phone number. How do you want my team to call you, motherfucker? God damn, people! Send us an email, include your number, and we can call you. We cannot call you unless you include your number. That's just let me get on my soapbox about that. We literally get like a hundred freaking leads a week. Hey, call me! And there's no number. Come on, man! Help me help you. Anyway. That's how you get to work with me one-on-one -on -one like Way is doing. Way's already gone through that process, okay? And Way has seen this video months ago. So this deal is no longer available. It's just for you, Way. Now, wait. Sleepy little area, brother. This thing is going to make some money. I'm going to talk to you about this area because I think you're going to like it quite a bit. Nobody pays attention to this area. I think this is a sneaky little good cash flow and deal here. Let's get into that right after this. There are two sides to wholesaling. Bodacious marketing to attract motivated sellers and data-driven analytics. Together, they're a match made in heaven. This is our wholesaling course. Let the link and buy the course! Welcome back. Let's get into this property, okay? This is quite a nice investment. I, I, I do like this one quite a bit. I think some serious money can be made. little duplex action, right? Check out that. Okay, we got some duplex action here, folks. Now, as you'll notice, all the photos are outside. Sometimes people freak out when that happens. Don't worry, I'm going to talk to you about that. That is normal when you have an occupied rental property, right? The address, 356 4th Street, Elyria, 44035. 104000 is the price point. It's been on the market for a very long time, 118 days. We're going to talk about all that, right? First thing I want to talk about, the photos. People freak out when they see rental properties that don't have interior photos. They're like, ah! Ah! What are they hiding? They're trying to trick me. Bruh. Possible. Unlikely. If I see, if I see hoof marks, I'm thinking horses. Does that mean it's impossible it was a zebra? No, but it's probably horses, okay? Tenants are tough, okay? Tenants are tough, folks. Dealing with tenants is tough. Most of the time, tenants don't want you in their house, okay? <laughs> they don't like that. Think about it. Would you like a bunch of fucking assholes coming in your house? No. And then, you know, where we're at today, we're in a post-COVID world. Jesus Christ. Nobody wants people coming in their house, right? So they make that difficult, right? And in reality, the interior, it's not that important, okay? There's really going to be nah, nothing, not, not much at least, that sways 
my opinion on this property. There's really going to be no surprises here. Here's the deal. You got two very long-term tenants in there, right? They've both been paying $700 a month, right? The listing agent put that on the, the listing right here, right? We got a three-bed, one-bath at seven, a two-bed, one-bath at seven. Now, market rent is much higher. Those are below market rents. Market rents is going to be eight fifty and seven fifty, dollars so 1600 a month, 19200 a year. Now, long-term tenants, the reason I don't care that we don't have pictures of the inside of their unit is because there ain't no fucking scenario where when these long-term tenants move out, you don't have to do a pretty decent-sized unit turn, right? I'm sure you're repainting everything. I'm sure if there's carpet, you're replacing it. I'm sure there may be hardwood under the carpet, and you should refinish it when it comes time to turnovers. I'm guessing you're going to want to upgrade your kitchen and your bath Home Depot Lowe's quality. There ain't no scenario where you get these long-term below-market rent tenants where they move out and you just fucking sweep the shit up and then it's all good, right? So I don't really need to know much because there's not going to be anything that's going to tell me anything great, right? I know some investors out there are living in la-la land thinking they're, you know, it's probably going to be some difference between what the unit looks like in this property or this property or this property, right? Long-term tenants, you're always doing a big old turn, okay? You want to harden it as much as you can at that big turn, right? So maybe you get lucky and the investor already hardened some of the stuff by removing, like, ceiling fans or removing carpet and refinishing the hardwoods. Maybe they did, maybe they didn't. Unlikely, right? Just assume you're going to have to do a big turn. But you want to try to keep these folks in there as long as you can. They're long-term tenants. They're proven payers, right? First of all, I gave you the market rents. Again, eight fifty, seven fifty. Why do we need to be in a rush to get to the market rents, dude? These people are paying seven hundred and seven hundred. Keep them, keep them in there, okay? Keep them in there as long as you possibly can. Avoid doing that turn because turns are what kill our returns. If I had the opportunity to leave these two in there at seven hundred a month for the next ten years, I would probably do it. That's very close to market rent. So that's my thought. On that, as far as some bigger ticket items, let me just give you the rundown from the listing agent. Great downtown location, historic duplex that has long-term tenants and well, would love to stay. Both units have a large open eat-in kitchen, new furnaces, hot water tanks, about five years old. First floor is three bed, one bath. Second floor is two bed, one bath. Tenants pay their own utilities with the exception of water, sewer, and trash. Right? Uh, let me give you the breakdown. This is what it's going to look like long-term. 16 hundo comes in. Fixed and variable expenses all estimated in there. Where I have your water and sewer, that's also going to include the trash. It's like in there. It's all one thing. It's not like a separate bill. Now, that leaves you with the NOI 833.50 or 10000 for the year if you buy it at the list price, which I believe you should, even though it's been on the market a long time. I'll discuss that in a second. You're looking at approximately a 23.3% estimated cash on cash return with a $26,000 DP. Bank kicking in 78. That's what's great about this game, folks. Tenants are going to pay off that mortgage. So you get an investment that the bank is paying most of the money for, and then the tenants pay off your mortgage, and then you make some cash on top. That's why real estate's awesome. If you are this far into the show and you did not yet know that real estate is awesome, I highly recommend you subscribe to Holden Wise TV because we explain to you a lot about real estate being awesome. But what we differ from other people is we also explain the difficult stuff. Now, it's awesome, and I think it's worth every bit of 104. Why has it been on the market for so long, right? A uh, couple reasons. Number one, Illyria, off the radar. I like Illyria better than Cleveland, actually, right? Because Illyria is off the radar. I think the government's easier to deal with, and I think the prices are not inflated as much because it's not on the national, uh, national stage, right? Nobody talks about uh, the Illyria Cavaliers, the Illyria Indians, or Guardians if you're a woke-ass motherfucker, the Illyria Browns, right? No, it's Cleveland, 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 Cleveland. Cleveland's on the national stage. Nobody really knows about Illyria. It's one thing. Second thing, this used to be priced much higher, okay? And then it was also under contract for a while. I believe their buyer just flaked or something like that. So those are the three reasons. Absolutely, I think you're going to have competition at 104. I don't think it's just like super overpriced and like you can get it at 80. Highly doubt you can, okay? So 104 is the price point, and I think it would be an awesome deal. Illyria, super solid. High C-grade property. I believe Illyria 
has a more stable tenant base and is easier to deal with like than a lot of the the blue collar neighborhoods we work in Cleveland, right? So I really really like this deal. I really really like the cash flow. They even told you they got some newer mechanicals, right? Hot water tanks 5 years old, they last about 15 years. They only cost a grand to replace. Furnaces last about 30 years. These are newer. I think you're in the money here. Do I anticipate you having a brand new roof? No. It's probably towards the end of its life cycle. And again, eventually you're going to have to do those unit turns, but that's pretty much par for the course for duplexes priced like this in this market. All told, super solid deal. I really like it. I definitely want to see you move forward with this one because this is a solid investment. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.